Of late, Iranian drones have become a crucial weapon in Russia's war on Ukraine. Evidence suggests that Russia is using Iranian drones against Ukraine and weakening the resistance put up by the war-torn Eastern European nation. The situation has escalated to the point that Ukraine has openly expressed its displeasure with Iran. In fact, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has even told President Zelensky to officially cut off all diplomatic ties with Iran. Following Ukraine's anger, Iran even asked its citizens in Ukraine to move out of the country to be safe. Now, this is how Ukraine's leadership had been perceiving the situation so far, that Iran picked Russia's side and chose to go to war with Ukraine. Simple, right? But now the problem has gotten... Since Russia began using Iranian drones in Ukraine, many have been drowned and dismantled by the Ukrainian forces. In fact, according to Ukrainian investigators, the Iranian Mohajer 6 drone was hacked mid-air and landed intact. But when the drones were studied by Ukrainian intelligence, the findings were bound to shock them. You see, Ukrainian intelligence has found that the very drones coming from Iran and wreaking havoc on behalf of Russia have American DNA. Not only that, but they also share European DNA. A majority of components in the Iranian drones being used by Russia and Ukraine have reportedly been found to be American-made or manufactured by companies in Europe and other allied nations. The Wall Street Journal reports that the components identified by Ukrainian military intelligence were verified by the Independent Anti-Corruption Commission or the NAKO, a Kiev-based non-profit that inspected the drone as well. Two hundred technical components identified by Ukrainian investigators have turned out to be of questionable origin. Nearly a half out of these 200 were made by companies based in the US and a third of them originated in Japan. Who would have thought that the US and its close ally Japan would find their mention in such a list? But they have. So on one side, the US has sent billions in military aid to Ukraine to beat Russia and on the other, it is involved in the Russian strikes on Ukraine. How did it not see its military tech reaching its Middle Eastern adversary, Iran? Obviously, there will be questions. The USA has imposed a plethora of sanctions on Iran. The goal is not just to cripple Iran's economy, but also its military and military tech advancement. Electronic components from a German-owned company have been found in these drones too. But Iran has mastered the art of circumventing sanctions. That's the only way it survives today, and it is even offering this set of expertise to Russia as we have talked about in an earlier video. You see, when it comes to drone parts, most of these are out of export controls in the US and elsewhere. That's the first slip-up. The other is that Iran may acquire high-tech Western components for its military drones by simply using the methods of transshipment. Components can be bought online from third-party nations and diverted to Iran without drawing any attention and being detected on time. That's the failure of Western sanctions. Now, the US has taken fresh action to address Iran's involvement in the war. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said in a statement, As we have demonstrated repeatedly, the United States is determined to sanction people and companies, no matter where they are located, that support Russia's unjustified invasion of Ukraine. She went on, Today's action exposes and holds accountable companies and individuals that have enabled Russia's use of Iranian-built UAVs to brutalize Ukrainian civilians. But the US has only taken action against Iranian, Russian and Emirati entities and is yet to take action against its own firms involved in the mix. So far, it is only investigating the matter. So what do you think about this story?